Yeah, and usually, uh, you know, for the delay, it seems they used to never do it. Oh, I to deal it. Let's deal it. Oh, yeah, there's a pretty good bit of deal. So. This might be harder to see for the point. I'm not sure what I'm sorry about that. Oh, that I am. And it is too all here. It looks like Drake ended up winning 2-1 that way. Let's take a look at the top six, top twenty-five here for for the MC the boy top twenty-five here that was released here today. We have number Oklahoma is first, number one. Texas is second. Third is Oklahoma State. Fourth is Stanford. Fifth is LSU. Sixth Duke. Seventh Georgia. Eighth Tennessee. Ninth is Washington. Tenth is Florida. Eleventh is Clemson. Twelfth is Texas. 13th is West Virginia, Virginia Tech. So a lot of these teams are either the ACC or the SEC. The SEC is the most dominant school in the country. The SEC has the most consistency. So does the ACC and the Big 12 has good consistency in, it, in the top teams. It's mainly SEC is SEC is like deep. The SEC is like really deep, and so is ACC. The really the deepest conferences in the league, yeah, in the country. Yeah, so I mean the ACC is kind of deep too, but that Big Twelve and the Pac Twelve are top heavy. I mean some of the bottom teams in there can be kind of really shaky. Oh, you know, give a little cheese, you know. No two, you know they can play good, you know too. Can't count no one out. You know it's softball, and you can't count no one out. I mean, sometimes basketball and other certain sports, you know, like yeah, like you know, certain teams, certain teams, you know, may be able to, you know, like football or volley, you know, certain sports, but like softball, you know, can't count no one out. You know, upsets can happen all the time. You know, long ones holding the Virginia Tech team, so. It's like, well, wow. and so can't count no one out, you know. We have number 14, you see, number 15, Alabama, 16, Missouri, 17, Arkansas, 18, Mississippi State, 19 is Baylor, 20th is Arizona, 21st is Charlotte, uh, the American, 22nd is California, 23rd is Florida State. 24th is Boston University and 25th is Texas State. So we have two or three mid majors, Charlotte, Boston University, and Texas State that have really you know, been proven well, you know. So it's 4 0 Missouri State with the lead. Let's actually go to the scores here to take a look at some more names that they. We have 2 0 Virginia and Rutgers in top 6. 6 4 the number 13 Virginia Tech Longwood. Top 3 Charleston Southern 2 0 and Georgia. In the top of 3rd Michigan State 2 0 on your name. And 4 2 Miami Ohio finally. Missouri State 4 0 after 2. We have in the St. John's Red Roll Rider, Rainer 2 0. Game 1 2. Game 1. Game 2, excuse me, see how the is up right and right for all top of it. Number Fuster is up on the ball three. Can't see up uh, in the green, just about the start. I don't know, Steve, stop one nothing. You can see the other first. Must be green delay, but they're delay. Possibly. 2 and 2, St. Mary set around Steve. You have Radford up 3 nothing on Maryland Eastern Shore. AGNS in Maryland just about the end row, and so in the Illinois Steve. You know, I'm 5 0 on North Carolina Central in Hampton, North Carolina. Scored us to the bottom of the first. 4 0 Mexico up on Utah. St. Houston Lamar and Florida Night, Florida National up the end of 5 0 Rob Morse. 
repeating acronym for one Eastern League APY. Not every game is televised in these sports. You know, I mean, some of them might be on like other streaming services, like Full Softball, or maybe they're on like school websites. You don't actually have to pay for a free or YouTube. But we have four one Eastern and IEP, right? Some like non conference contests might not be televised, but you know, some conferences may have more every sport or every school. Every sport is televised in that conference. Then some might have a word like home, you know, home games are really televised. I, I know some, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, we have Drake Tibby, Western Lake 2 1, Mercy, Belmont, Squirrels, Nevada, the 3rd. And and Eastern Line Media you put eighteen three in the first game of the game. That's insane. Boston twenty four Boston Eastern EEL seven nothing. Texas Southern Northwest State Spring Surrey and Mint. And never mind where we started. Team of Boston Boise Utah. And uh, Let's go to the top of the seventh team. St. Mary's they had the runner on first with one out, trying to get the game winning run against Sacramento State. And Neil Lara is up at that plate. 0 for 3 today. Let's go to the announcer. Let's go to the announcer at Sacramento State University. A normal throw would have quickly got Ferguson because Day read that bunt attempt perfectly. It would have gone down 5-4 had the throw been perfect. But alas, it didn't. She sailed it in the right field, and Ferguson's at third. What's the run right there? Bunt, Excuse me. Line through the right, left side for a big... And that is going to be a run at first. Runner at first, one out for St. Mary's, and sometimes all you need is one hit on the day, and that gets you the win, you know, you know, like, one for three or two for three, you know, like, you know, in, in softball and baseball and stuff, being like, one for, you know, having like, one, you might get hit. Like a con good contact on the ball, you might hit the ball. But it doesn't count as like a reaching base. You reach base like once out of like say like th three times, you might be doing good. Or if you reach base like two out of three times, you might be doing really good. Or three out of three, you're doing like really, really good. You know, it just depend, you know? Oh, like, like one out, like th one out of three or two out of every five or something. It's considered like really good in soft in baseball. You don't want that, you know, so. Eighth, nine order of the lineup for the Hornets in the bottom of the seventh. Looking ahead. Change up, swung on into left field, caught by Lexi Parrish. Two outs here as Laura will retreat back to first. So all of a sudden, what looked very promising for Marissa Bertuccio, and again, to no fault of her own, now trailing three to two with Sam Buckley up. 0 for two was hit by a pitch in this game. She Popped out to Bertuccia to end the fifth. Uh, 
That's fouled into the screen, one and one. Swung on in the changeup in the dirt. One and two. One, two. In the dirt again. Off goes Laura, and she will steal second. Easy. Beat her by a step and a half. And that is it. It's for the top of the zone. And for the NCAA, here we have about two more months for before college softball starts. They're terminal. We have about the NCAA, their conference rooms are about in mid, like I would say, like beginning of May, maybe second week in May. First, second week in May, and all that thing. And then we have the MCA tournament. I know it's like the middle of May, I believe. And then I know it ends. Maybe the middle of May. Not the exact end of May, I know. I know it's I know the Women's Conference Series is in June. And then the Women's Conference Series, the final series is in. Is in, um. Um, mid, near, you know, I know it starts at least in the beginning of June, it's like the ones called Richards in the beginning of June. So let's go to Virginia Tech. At Longwood here. And that is, it hits the wall. And there's going to be waved in, and a runner stays in second. Smart. And that makes it 7 4 Virginia Tech University. miss that's an out for tech so for her to come in there down the middle Lama couldn't quite catch it that's a big time play for mcmillan and now she leads tech fronts batted then back in the lead the solo lead for rbis the 29th of the year apple was just hit on a frozen rope to center david did a good job to battle back but put that one in a hittable spot for mcmillan she makes her pay. And just so you know, there is going to be a second game on the double header between Virginia Tech and Longwood. However, I will end the ending uh, the um whip around here a little bit early and instead of showing every game to the finish possibly um that I can. Um, I will be ending it a possible or at least have the children of the And I will also be, um, you know, I will be ending the book now. Be early because of that. And I will also be, um, ending, um, I will also be. Uh, and you know, I look around possibly early if I um, have to. Um, you know, if I have to. Because of other reasons. You know, I don't know. What the other reason would be, but I know I will end it for sure later in the day, later tonight. Because the NIT for the Goat Minnesota Force, Beth, the Minnesota Force. And usually I show women's book runs. I won't end up saying much. The men's in their team. 
you shall watch them in the sports. If them in the golf is playing, and that's it. So we'll watch them in the NIT. The men had it where they were playing one game every day, or not one one game every season in the NCAAs, and then they were playing in the NIT. It was like when they had like more coaches, you know, more pristine coaches. I don't know, you know, the new one. New men's coaching. He's been, you know, slowly rebuilding this team. Been a couple years of rebuilding it slowly but surely. You know, and you now this year, how they turn the golfers, turning the golfers into an NIT team this year. Next year, maybe they are an NIT team too. I wouldn't be surprised if next year they are either an N maybe an maybe they're an NCAA tournament team next year. But maybe next year if they're not an NCAA tournament team, maybe they're like a higher seed than a team. Maybe they host an NIT team. You know, maybe they start to slowly turn this thing around. Very slowly turn around. I could see that. You know? So it is 8-4 now, Virginia Tech on